Hey, orange one here, and we are at a strange temple. Um, it's pretty close to that bunker that we had gone to in the last episode. And yeah, I have a one of the eyes, so that should make it so that I can go down here. Yep, here we go. So now, the fun begins, right? So I've got night vision, so I should be able to just kind of like see things. Okay, so right away... Yeah, I, I had brought, like, rope and, like, planned to, like, do some other stuff, but, yeah. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. We'll just kind of go through here. Okay, hold on, I'm being torched by flames. That's weird. What's, uh, a torso and arms. I've got a turnout coat. I guess the turnout coat's not enough, huh? Well, actually, it looks like it's not hurting. I, I was already hurt. Here we go. We're okay. We're fine. Um, so can I see it all? Not really. Oh, it's one of the shifting rock ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Also, I've got a CBM, the autonomous scalpel CBM, which should be pretty useful if we need to use that. Uh, okay, here we go. Alright, that's two of them down. Is this the water one or something? What is this one? Oh, this is... Um... This one's kind of annoying. It like releases enemies if you do it in the wrong order. Your amorphous body could slip through the metal bars, but your cumbersome gear can't do it. Oh, I forgot that I got that. Uh, oh yeah, I moved my mutagen that I've been dosing. Yeah, dude. What's, uh, what is it that's right here? Redstone, greenstone, bluestone? Okay, well I can slip through the cracks, but not really. Okay, well let's, uh, let's put this gear back on. Sorry. Let's get all that stuff back on. Um, I think we're gonna have to do some fighting here. Let's get the scalpels out. We'll just get ourselves kind of ready for this, because I think, uh, sure, flip the yellow switch. Here we go. Okay, we got a giant black widow. Um, well, I need my adrenaline. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Okay, yeah, we got 10 damage on it there. That's respectable. Yeah, dude. Oh. Yeah, we can totally take this thing out. Yo, yo these scalpels are actually okay. Um, so we gotta leave our gear here. I mean, I could bring it with me through here if I really wanted to, but I'm not sure if I need to. Uh, twisted bodies. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to fight that without any gear. Look through the, the, the stuff. Let's get... This is a little... I don't know if I would call it a hack, but a little trick that you can do. If you've got Amorphous Body, you can lay the gear down and then kind of like pass it through. I don't know if I would call it a hack, but it's uh, uh, I don't think it's intended. We are healing up though, as you can see. Oh, we are scorching. Um, don't grab that. Get these other things on. Okay, the temperature's falling. Uh, what is that? Is that water? It's hot air. That's interesting. Well, I don't want to be scorching. I'm going to wait for my temperature to not be scorching. I'm just going to wait here and let that temperature kind of go down. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, I think that uh, my left foot is swelling in the heat, so that doesn't sound good. Uh, I'm scorching there, I'm not scorching here. I'm kind of confused as to why we're scorching, but okay. Um, let's get this going. Just so that we can maybe kill this thing. I don't know, maybe we can't kill this thing. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to fight this thing. It's healing slowly. That's our problem, is that it's like just like this undying enemy, basically. Though I'm just like scorching here. Great. Um, well, we're going to have to figure out something here. It's passed through here. Am I still... I'm still scorching here, man. Am I scorching on this whole floor? No, I'm not scorching here. That's a uh, get our temperature to fall. Not scorching. Please. Um, no, we're still kind of scorching. I'm just kind of confused about why I'm scorching and how to not be scorching right now. <laughs> were we scorching the whole time we were out here? Yeah, because we're, we're definitely hurting. So we might be able to get somewhere that's not cooking us. Like right here or something, I don't know. We're kind of still pretty hot here. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> I feel like we're... We're kind of like sustaining ourselves, almost. I think, uh, can we wield that? I think that, that that might get burnt. I think that, yeah. We need, we need to bring with us, like, our sword or something. Because this is not working right now. Okay, we're very hot, so we're not scorching anymore. That's nice. Hopefully our arms can heal up a little bit from that. Because they're pretty messed up. Okay, can I please get out of here? It's like locking me in. I can't get out. Like seriously. There we go. No. Why? Gosh, this is silly. Okay, I might have to just cut ahead to when we're done with this. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna make an edit until we've gotten like through this because this is just absurd. Okay, so yeah, we're back now. Um, sorry, <laughs> I, I think I I don't know why the audio is kind of like the silver caves. It's kind of I was just like realizing that. Sorry, that may be kind of a weird moment there. Uh, we got a fans up here. We're not doing any damage. Oh man, okay. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe, uh... I don't know. Maybe let's try one of the artifacts on him. Uh, or let's try this. This is getting powered. Yeah, what does this do? Fail to place mon monster. Uh, let's try it and oh, what's what's going on here? Shadows. These are hostile shadows. Interesting. 
Okay, so it spawns some shadows or something. It seems to be getting powered. I don't know what it's getting powered by. But it seems that the fan seems to be focused on those shadows. Which is fine by me. Okay, so that spawns like a little distraction essentially. For me. I mean, they're, they're not very powerful, but kind of cool. So let's just wait over here. Yeah, I think that that fans gotta be a problem. Oh, did they, did they kill it? Hold up. They might have killed it. Um, can I get that backpack up? Yep, thank you. And the jackhammer, sure, let's wield that. Get that. Um, no, I don't want to drop that. I'm going to head out. I'm going to get out of here. This is like Fungaloid Central right now, and uh, I don't like that. That does not sound like a good place to be. Is it still cave sounds? It's still cave sounds. I've never had that happen before. This is like super bizarre because like I'm not used to the fungaloid places looking like this for me. Um, what are all these? These are all fungaloids here. I mean, they're ignoring me. Are you still ignoring me? Ooh, fungaloids don't seem to find me to be a threat right now. I don't know why. Whatever. I will take it. Oh, what have we got here? A fungal tender. Um, I'm not sure if I can get away from it if I try to run. Will I be able to? Looks like kind of, but not really. They don't really damage me. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with them though. Uh, get the scalpels out. Go ahead, drop it. Yeah. How much damage did I do? Six. Yeah, I'm not even gonna drop the backpack. We can take this guy out. I mean, our focus is going down, but, uh,. I would say that was pretty effective. Yeah, go ahead and put those away. And let's continue on our way through the cave sounding woods. I don't know, I'm gonna actually just load up the game and see if that fixes it. Like, quit out and, and load it back up and see what's going on. Okay, that's better. We don't have cave sounds now. That This sounds more like what you'd expect. <laughs> this is more like woods. Just perfect. Uh, we are dehydrated and kind of beat up from what we've been doing then gotta get back to the car luckily though the car isn't too far from here let's go back to the map yeah if we we kind of maybe i don't know do i want to be on the main trail right now i think i do unless the fungal lights are hostile i mean there's that fungal tender that was was hostile these fungaloids, though, themselves seem to not mind me. Is that a fungal boomer that's coming my way? Something's, like, trying to chase me down, I think. Let's get on the path. Now we're cruising. Right? Let's go around the rosebush. But now we're really getting moving. Getting grooving. And we're out here, we're in our field. Now, the smooth disc has not gotten charged. So it makes me curious as to what happens when I equip it. I'm gritting my teeth, but I don't know if anything's happening. I haven't noticed anything change. It hasn't got any charge. 
Yeah, nothing, nothing's really happening right now. I wonder what, what will make it be charged. I really am curious. Though I'm half suspecting these artifacts are going to disappear like our other artifacts did. I'm a little salty about that still. <laughs> oh look, the smooth disk has charged now. That's weird. Okay, so like when I went in here, it got charged. Or was it when I unequip it? Let's uh, let's just go up here a little bit. Get nice and far from the car, just in case we do something crazy. Like, I don't know. We got it on us. Can't activate it. Oh, hello. Fire rains down around you. Fail to place monsters. Uh, interesting. So that sets me on fire? Is that what just happened? Okay. I'm very hot, now I'm warm. Now I'm okay. Okay, well if I want to um, make a psychic fire thing, I guess I could do that. Oh, but I burnt my gun. Oh. At least it's not badly burnt. I can always get a replacement if I only, if I need it. I've got plenty. Seems like not a very good item. Not my favorite. So let's see if I step in the car again. Nope, it's not charged. Well, something something charged it recently. I don't know what what it was, but I had to get off of that. <laughs> and the shadow spawning one was kind of cool. That that might get yeah the little jiffy. Um, and it's just dump things. And then we'll get our actual proper gear back on. Yep, the good stuff. The real gear. Including our gross uh, backpack, apparently. And no, we don't need to equip that. we just pick up the rest. Perfect. And then... Let's wield that. And yep, we got our, our stand egg mags. Okay, cool. I'm pretty happy with all of that. And then, oh wow, we got a lot of carrying capacity right now. It's just kind of insane. We can carry stuff, we can eat like most of what we find. <laughs> just like almost anything, essentially. Um, Actually, hold up, where's that backpack? Can I put the firefighter gear in that? Can I just like open that up? Can I insert the anything that's firefighter related essentially? We're gonna have to rename the bag or something. Okay. Um I don't know. Uh, where's our, uh, do we have a pen? Or like, is it the survivor marker? Yeah, the marker, that's what I want. Uh, where are you, survivor marker? I need to write on my backpack. I guess, it's kind of weird. I'm like writing with a like charcoal thing on a backpack. Uh, yeah. the, it's a label. Sure, that, that works for me. Okay, um, and then now we can be ultimately organized. <laughs> Just gonna put that in there. Oh no, that's 
already pretty full. I put in there. Volume is 19. Okay, so things need to get moved around basically. Okay, so I think that that should be good now. There we go. Uh, and then we should probably just get rid of some of this other stuff. I don't need to be carrying so many grenades around. Like, come on. You know? Fun as that is. Uh, we don't need that. Or that. Yeah, this really... Yeah, we've got just, like, so much stuff we don't really need. I don't really know why we've got the anesthetic kit. I mean, I guess that's for more of our NPC friends. What I, I would really like to do right now is just kind of level my guy up combat-wise and just make him, like, super OP in that department. Um, I'm also... I, I don't really know how to go about it, to be honest. Clean water, just drink that all. I kind of want to maybe do a little bit of the martial arts again. I'm not really sure. Um, just because the, we have a character whose perception stays really high, even when they're hurt. So, like, what is this? Is this like some sort of psychic fire? I mean, it's still burning, even though there's like nothing there for it to burn. It's like kind of actually a little spooky. I mean, if I really wanted to burn something down, like something that shouldn't burn, <laughs> you know. Oh, there's an open sewer. That's interesting. Hmm. And is this that? That's the, where the Triffid was, and this is like some sort of farm. I mean, it would be kind of nice if we could get to that other bunker that's over there. Let's try and go like down and around, yeah? We'll do something like that. And we'll find maybe something along the way. We might find something interesting. That it sometimes happens. I've driven these roads quite a bit. And the kind of nice thing is that we've got solar po power that uh, appears to be, oh my goodness, jittering enough to sustain us. Like driving around, we've been actually like making more power. I mean, not like a ton more, but like enough, you know? Uh, there's a fungal shocker right there. I could try and get a CBM from you. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Where where are they? Right in front of us. Okay. Stop this. Get my... Oh, we're, we already got it out. Okay, perfect. Where's the shocker? Are you guys coming over here now or what? No? Really? God, I thought your fungals were like based off of like sound or whatever. Whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. Come back. They're coming back, maybe. No, that's not the uh that's not the one that I wanted. Is the one I want already dead, actually? Hold on. Is there, like, any bodies around here or something? No, I can't see any bodies. Okay, I don't know what happened to our... Uncle Shocker there. Or whatever. <laughs> we'll drive... Oh, where, where is he now? He, oh, he's just, like, gone out of the reality bubble. I could just drive in into him. I think they may have seen me there. I might be about to get shocked. Shocker? Hello. Uh, yes. Stop aiming. Go ahead, run. Because the nice thing is, because the pain doesn't really slow us down, that actually is not that bad. <laughs> One bullet and they're dead. 
That sounds that sounds fine to me. Go ahead, pick him up, and let's just get out of here, because I am not looking to hang out around no fungals, even if I'm getting CDMs from this dude. Uh, what what is that on there? That's just his stuff. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't leaving anything like super good. Um, is that where they're coming from? Yeah, that's where they're coming from. So. I'm driving right into where they're coming from. Great. It's a great idea. Right through the slime. Totally. <laughs> right through the slime pit and the fungal infection. Oh look, there's another fungal shocker. This seems like a pretty easy way to farm for uh, CVMs. What is that? That's right there. I'm just... Yeah. The fungal zombie. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll kind of go down and loop over from what I remember. But I, I just kind of want to get out of the fungals reach before you even stop. This looks like it's pretty good. Nope, there's fungaloid right there. Shop smart, shop smart. Weird, so it's like a robot. Uh, okay, yeah, we're fine. That we're gonna get off the road. Okay, I think that this is probably a fine place to perform our operation. Dissect. Let's see what happens. Oh, I threw up heavily. That's weird. Uh, ignore. I think we're just getting hurt from our weird psychic adventure. Uh, anything? No, just power CVM. I honestly don't know if I even want to pick that up. No, I'm not going to. I refuse. Gotta. Um, and then there was... Where was it? It was like kind of up here, this way. And then there's a mine there. Also these military outposts, they might have something in them. With checking out, you know? Uh, what's, what's here down by the Graken? Any dead humans or anything? Not really. Not I can see. Oh, there's some stuff here. Looks like camper stuff, maybe? Yeah. Not like the drug deal stuff, unfortunately. For me. Um... I think we'll go up this way to see if there's anything out in the field, you know? You never know. Sometimes there's some really good stuff out in the fields. Like, you know, like the best stuff in the game, kind of level stuff. Just gotta drive through a lot of fields to find it. <laughs> well, the low probability kind of things. Oh, this is a dairy farm. Hey there. What we got here? The dairy farm. Uh, this is going to be interesting. It's just, uh, I think I've been to one of these locations before. Just kind of been a while. I don't know, do we have any slots for any cows? I think we may be able to get some more cow feed. Doors locked there. Oops, stop running. Hello? Hello? Oh no, that's one of the empty ones. At least I'll be able to get some cow fodder. So if I do run into cows then, <laughs> we'll at least have food. It's a shame. Oh, there's even some here. Wow. There's a lot of it in there. Um. I thought these were like actual tanks for milk, right? They're empty, I guess. And yeah, these are milk machines, okay. Well, it looks like there's no cows for us here. 
we just gonna go in that way because the other thing was locked. Um, nothing really that good here. Nothing in there. Okay. What about here? Anything in here? Not really. And there's a book if I wanted to read it. But I don't think Nosh is much of a reader. <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. What do you think? Do you think he likes to read? Okay. Well, no cows. That is a royal shame. I'm sure that Harvey was very upset. But we should also try and mark that strange temple as looted. And that barracks, huh? Yeah. Let's do that real quick. And then... We are pretty much... We're at the half an hour mark, I think, just about. So, we're pretty good here. But maybe I'll just drive a little bit over. Just a little bit further. I just think that we are on the verge of seeing... Oh, nah, that's probably nothing. To probably just end it. <laughs> Don't run into the tree. That would not be a good way to end. That's such a weird little patch of forest there. I didn't even realize it was there. It was practically on top of it. Okay, well, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.